so today I am finishing up my day with my last two clients. This is my client. She has very long hair and she's relaxed. So um, we did a wash today and I'm going to go ahead and blow her out the remainder of the way. And then we're going to style her, I guess. You want it straight, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so then we're going to go ahead and style her using our uh, Smooth by EHC XL. It's been a long day, you guys. I had a lot of clients today. And I know it's because Easter is around the corner, but I am not seasoned like this anymore. But we're going to get through it. Anyway, you guys, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to use my Platinum Turbo Blow Dryer to blow her out. I'm just blowing her roots out, make it really easy for me when I'm going to curl her that we don't have to do all that. So you guys, just a reminder, the 50% off Easter sale is going on. No code is needed. It applies to everything, excluding our two new products, which is our Shield Heat and Humidity Protectant Spray, as well as our Hydra Plus Daily Moisturizing Cream. Those two are not included in the sale, but everything else is included. And you never know, I might have a little flash sale come up this weekend. And you know, my flash sales are always unbelievable, so... Thank you, Grace.
um, that's dye. That's hair dye. You'll see why in just a moment. I did hair color today. You got dye on your face. I'm gonna give you a napkin. I'm gonna give you a napkin. Yes, it's So she is relaxed. Um, you just took braids out, right? Yes. She just took braids out, so we just gave her a wash and a deep condition today. And then I'm going to use my Smooth by EHC XL iron to soak her. She likes her hair straight. Which is another reason why I like to blow her roots out ahead of time so that I don't have to use my flat iron and go deep into the scalp trying to get it bone straight. Some clients, I don't have that luxury, but for her hair, I do. Now, before she went under the dryer, I did spray her with some of the shield spray as well as a leave-in conditioner. So the order that you wanna do this in is leave-in conditioning spray first, and then you will use your shield heat and humidity protectant spray on top of that. A little goes a long way. You do not need a ton of spray. You guys, the more you spray, the more buildup you have. So just keep in mind that a lot of spray is not needed for heat protection. You mist it on and then you rub it into the hair, detangle again, and then go under your dryer to air dry. That is how you use the shield spray. You guys see how nice and shiny this hair is? And I did not put any frizz control on her hair. I haven't put any goddess polish on her hair. This is all from Elite Hair Care Shampoo conditioner and then of course the leave-in conditioner and the heat protectant spray hey carolyn so there's over 350 people watching the live but I don't see enough thumbs up for that number. I need to have at least half that number in thumbs up. So if you haven't already thumbs up this live, please close your chat and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me, please. It's free. It costs you nothing. Thank you to everyone who already did it. Can you put a relaxer on top of a keratin? Um, would I recommend it? Probably not. Hello. Hello. Sorry, she's for me. Oh, you're fine. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna say huh? probably not. You can put a keratin over a excuse me, a relaxer over a keratin treatment. You're still gonna have a little bit of shedding because it's still one chemical service to the next. 
But outside of that, I think it's really easy. Thank you to everybody for the thumbs up. Now for her hairline, because it is nice and ready for a retouch someday soon, um, I'm gonna use the one inch Smooth by EHC, only because I need to get in nice and close to her hairline. But you can use either one to do your curl. I like to use the XL because she has long hair, so I don't wanna be here all day. And that's what this one is made for. It's made for longer hair or more straighter hair. If I was doing curls, I would not use this, the um, XL. I'd use the one inch. Now for her hairline, we're gonna use the Smooth by EHC half inch. This is called the mini. Okay, so that will be used to do her hairline. For those of you who have been asking for our irons, they are on the way. Production is finally complete. They are in route. So we will have three sizes releasing on our anniversary week, which is the week of April 20th. Um, where you'll have access to the Smooth by EHC Mini, the Smooth by EHC 1 inch, and then the Smooth by EHC XL. So you'll have access to all of those, which is three different sizes. And this one is a mini, it's a half inch iron, but it is 100% ceramic. It goes also up to 500 degrees. It's used to get into the crevices, the nooks and crannies. So that one is not as small as a pencil iron, but most of you don't even use the pencil iron. Most of you use the half inch anyway. So that was another reason why I didn't rush into the pencil iron size just yet. I said the mini made more sense. See that? Smooth, not smooth. Smooth, not smooth. Wouldn't it just be easier to use a hot comb? You don't hot comb everybody, baby. She's relaxed. There is no absolute need for me to hot comb her. Hot combs are not made for everybody and everything. Furthermore, anybody I see using a hot comb, let me tell you exactly what they do. They use the hot comb at the roots and then they still go back and chase it with a flat iron. So what is the purpose? If I have to do all of that, then there's no purpose. The only time it makes sense is if I have a client who has extremely coarse hair and I know that I need that direct heat from a actual hot comb. And it's very rare that I can't silk my clients with a, a regular ceramic iron or even titanium iron and still get the same results. It's not the tool, it's who's using the tool. There's people who use my iron and say, oh my gosh, 
my hair is not as silky as when Crystal does it. Right, because it's not the tool. Okay, yes, about 45 to 50% of it is, the, yes, the tool you're using. But how you use that tool is going to determine your outcome. That was a good question, though, because some people would ask something like that or they'd be afraid to ask that question. So that was a great question because a lot of people don't understand the reasons behind it. So you took the guessing game out of it for everybody else. Finally caught alive. Oh, you're welcome. Using a pressing comb and a flat iron is too much heat. Like I said, it just depends. It depends on the nature of what you're doing. I'm not going to say it's too much heat because some hair requires that. Like there's some clients who their, their hair is so coarse, a flat iron is not going to do it. They're not going to get as silky at the roots as you would want them to. So then, yes, a hot comb is sometimes required. But it's just on a case by case. I have all the kitchen gadgets in the world in my kitchen, but still can't cook. <laughs> exactly. So you can have as much to as many tools as you want. But if you don't know how to use that tool properly, then it makes no sense. How hot is the hair straightener right now? I have it at 450. I rarely go to 500 with this tool with any of my tools. Rarely. Because I don't really need to 450 is the threshold for me. And even at 450, sometimes my partings are small, sometimes my partings are large. It depends on the texture of the hair that I'm working with. So it's a case by case basis. It starts from 130 to 500 degrees. Thank you, Pat. I have coarse hair, yet I've had so much heat that it thinned and damaged. Yeah, that happens too. That happens too. I got an amazing review yesterday from a client, I'm assuming. Um, I couldn't tell the client's name because they are using some form of alias, which is weird to me. Because if you're going to leave a review, don't be afraid to leave your name. Anyhow, you guys want a story time? If you want a story time, put a fire emoji in the chat, please. wait to see if not I'll just keep it to myself where do we leave reviews well this was a review for the salon not necessarily the products this was for the salon you want to read something out loud for you in school <laughs> you can read it so I'm gonna have my client read it out loud first and then I will commentate as she reads through it. And that will probably get us through her appointment anyway, so. Hold that thought, hold that thought, I'm coming. This was yesterday. I guess not. It was nice and long at that. So, yes. Did it come up? Yes. There you go. So, this customer or client, should I say, um, left this review 22 hours ago. You, yeah, it was nice and long, but I want you guys to hear because I'm very transparent anyway, so you got to read out loud, okay? Okay. Let me practice 
Let me preface this by stating that my decision in choosing this salon stemmed from watching Crystal on YouTube and the seemingly knowledge and expertise displayed along with personal attention. I have grown accustomed to being the only client present during a silk press. That when I walked into the salon and saw two other clients being serviced, I was a little taken aback because her emails continuously emphasized being punctual. Keep in mind, you may not be the only client in the salon during your appointment. Crystal does work at a good pace, but I believe that juggling that many clients affected the quality of service I received. I appreciate the opportunity to provide feedback, but I must express my disappointment with the uh, recent service at your hair salon and why I feel it was a complete waste of my hard-earned money considering the cost. As a client, I had certain expectations that unfortunately were not met. Detangling, as someone with type 4 hair, the detangling process requires utmost care and gentleness. Crystal was rough, causing discomfort and potential damage. <laughs> color fading. The color treatment I received... I'm going to let you comment on that one. <laughs> See, I got a tender-headed client. I'm going to let her tell you. Okay, go ahead. It's already washed out, which is quite disheartening. I expected the color to last longer and maintain its vibrancy. I might have received a semi instead of a demi, not my first time dyeing my hair. Trimming experience. During my visit, I was not shown where I would have liked my trim, trim, where I would have liked to trim my hair. I actually had to ask Crystal if she would be trimming my hair. In parentheses, she was on a lengthy phone call discussing the materials of her home while she was trimming and flat ironing my hair. But she never followed up followed up by asking me how much I would have liked to trim and never handed me a mirror to show how much she was trimming. She could have trimmed a lot more as my hair still has so many split ends. Lack of proper trim. Regrettably, the trim I received was not up to par. I had specific areas that needed attention, but they were overlooked. As a result, my hair doesn't feel as neat and well-maintained well as I had hoped. Crystal provided no communication relating to the health of my hair. Explanation of services. I appreciate transparency. <laughs> Can I stop you for one second? Yes. Okay, so as she's reading this, right, this lady actually put the review in paragraph form. Okay, she actually put names to each section. And when I went and I looked at her reviews, I said, oh, okay, so she's one of those people where you will review the 7-Eleven up the street. You had over 3,000 reviews that you wrote of every place that you've ever gone. So I'm like, okay, so she's one of those people where she's a review person. All right, great. So I left it and I let it marinate. You can read. Okay. Explanation of services. I appreciate transparency, especially when it comes to the services provided. Unfortunately, I did not receive a clear explanation of what each step entailed. Knowing what was being done to my hair would have helped manage my expectations. It's frustrating to have repeatedly asked about the procedures and products being used. As a client, clear communication and transparency are essential. Silk press disappointment. The silk press was also disappointing. A round brush was not used during the drying slash blow dry process, which affected the final results. Please be aware that Crystal uses a dryer with a comb attachment. My roots remained slightly textured and the overall finish fell short of what I was anticipated. Don't expect to be a to be a saran wrap and set under a cool hooded air hair dryer. As a paying customer, I expected a certain level of expertise and attention to detail, which unfortunately fell short during my salon visit. Thank you for considering my feedback. Constructive criticism criticism is essential for growth, and I hope my I hope my feedback helps improve the salon service for future clients. Thank you for reading. Okay, come here, my tender-headed client. Come here. <laughs> so I have a tender-headed client here, and Lacey's been coming to me for 19,000 years. So tender-headed client, <laughs> as I was detangling you and we were talking you through your detangle, what did I say to you? That you're just rough-handed. It's not personal. Thank it's you. Just, it's just how you are. Okay, good. So we had that understanding. Yes. <laughs> okay. And as I'm being rough-handed, I'm telling her, hey, I'm so sorry. We are almost done. I'm trying to get through your detangle, Ray Tay Tay. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Now, Lacey, who's been coming to me for 18,000 years, what would you rate my hair service? Hair service overall, 
out of ten. Ten out of ten. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep ten back for me. And I actually argue with Lacey all the time because Lacey likes to get relaxers like once every nine years. <laughs> okay? So the fact that she's giving me a ten out of ten, you guys don't even know. I argue with her every relaxer. Because she waits nine years to get the next one. Like right now, I'm giving a silk press to a person who's fully relaxed. Okay. So when I'm reading the actual review yesterday, my first thought was to respond in a crystal who don't take any foolishness way. And then my second thought was, no, just say thank you and wish her all the best. Because clearly, at the time of me doing the service, Whatever it is that I was not doing offended her in some way, shape, or form. But some parts of that review is just, it doesn't make sense. I'm one of those people where if I do my service a certain way, that's the way that I do my service. Not every doctor is going to check you in the same way. Not every hospital is going to check you in the same way. Not every hospital even serves the same food. But guess what? You don't go in there with the expectation that you're gonna have a five course meal. You don't go in there with the expectation that the way your doctor checked you in the last appointment, this doctor's supposed to follow you the same way. And this is what I tell people, when you come to me, just know that you're coming to authentic me, okay? So there'll be days where I am super duper talkative and there's days where I'm not super duper talkative. Clearly, that was probably, not even probably, because she mentioned that I was talking to somebody about my house. Clearly, that was not one of the best days of my life. But I always make sure that I'm sending my clients out of here looking fabulous. And I have yet to have one client, which I don't even know who this person is, but clearly they have come within the last month. And every single client has left a tip and a thank you. So I'm like, mm, that must say a lot because you're the first person to tell me that. You're the first person to say that you had such an issue that I didn't use a round brush. First and foremost, most Dominican salons use round brushes. If you wanted a Dominican round brush salon, you should have gone to a Dominican salon because that's who uses round brushes to straighten out hair. Yes, I can do it, but is it required? No, it's not. It doesn't change the outcome. And I actually do know exactly who this client is <laughs> now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Because this client was asking a million questions. And I'm like, you, you just asked that question in my mind. But let me answer you again. Let me answer this question again. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you that. But there's not going to be any way for me to tell you every step of the way. Okay, Lacey. I'm still pressing your right side. Okay, my tender-headed client. <laughs> I'm going to put the color on your tips right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put your towel on. Baby. There's not enough time in the day for that. So you came to the wrong place with that expectation. Now you're absolutely right about the juggling of clients because some people are okay with it, others are not. I can agree with that part. I'd love to be able to service two clients a day and still walk away with over $2,000 in that week. I'd love to be able to do that, but that's just not, it's not feasible. It's not normal. It's not a thing. Okay, it's just not a thing. But I can agree with that statement. Would I love that to happen? Absolutely. I would love for that to happen, but it's just not gonna happen right now. Especially because I'm in extreme demand and I have to be able to get these people in and out of here because guess what? Just like she came, there's others that want to come and I can't service everybody. So guess what? There might be a day where there's four or five people and we still get out of here before two to four hours, which that is an expectation that is outlined when you book with me. When you booked your appointment, what did your email say? Did you get an email? I did. For the long list of stuff? Yeah. And what did it say? Tell me if you remember anything. Like time-wise? Uh-huh. I think it was an hour. No, girl. Oh, okay. Then Not I'm the sorry. time that's on there, oh, on the, in the, in the paragraph oh, okay. part. I, I, I didn't read she it. didn't read it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> didn't read she didn't read it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the email when you book with me, it sends you what your expectations are. And the fact that she can quote my expectations or what to expect by saying, Crystal says that she's very punctual. Punctual to me means that I'm making sure that I adhere to what I told you. And in that email, it says, expect to be here no more, excuse me, no more than two to four hours. That's punctual, okay? 
If I tell you to expect to be here two to four hours, that's what it means. Expect to be here two to four hours. If I say, hey, expect to be here nine hours for that type of service, that is the expectation that I've outlined for you. So some people come with their own expectations and their own thought process of how you should be running your business and not understanding how this actually works. And while I appreciate the review, because yes, you have to take constructive criticism. You have to be able to handle that, which I can handle it. It's not a problem. But just make sure that all of it makes sense before you say it. You're critiquing me not using a round brush. Then you should have gone to a stylist that uses a round brush. You're critiquing me for using a blow dryer with a comb. Absolutely. Because guess what? We're here to work smarter, not harder. And the type of blow dryer I use does not change the outcome, baby. It's the person who's using the tool. And just so everybody is clear, that, um, what's that thing called? That Dyson blow dryer that you guys see me using, which I've switched over to my own blow dryer now, that Dyson blow dryer is almost $500. So just know that you are being blow dried with $500 worth of blow dryer. Okay. Sometimes people have to understand that they literally create standards that are just not realistic. Just stop. Just stop. Crystal, your work is bomb. Which I appreciate you guys. I mean, I share these stories with you guys not to be funny, not to be defensive or anything like that. But this is real life. Like, this is real. This isn't a joke for me. I do this every single day, and I do this with pride. I do this with back aches. I do this with carpal tunnel. I do this with four children who have a bunch of needs. I do this when my life is in shambles, when my life is amazing. I do this. And if anybody knows me right now, <laughs> you know that Crystal's life is lifing, and I'm still here. And I still show up, and I deliver every single day, every day, which is why God blessed me with a full book of people. People who travel from all over to come and sit in my chair. See all those extra passes? Nope. I do my own silk press when I want only one pass. Well, good thing is she's not natural. She's relaxed. She wants it flat. You guys, oh my gosh. And you know what? I've been doing Lacey's hair since it was shorter than this. And look where she is. It's out her back. Y'all got to stop. Just stop it. It's Easter weekend. Oh my gosh. This is the Lord's weekend. Don't be so harsh. Where are you located? I'm in Orlando, Florida. Who said, whoever said too many passes for you? Maybe I was just joking. It's not a big deal. That's just for you. What do you think? It looks great. It looks great? Yes. Do you always leave with it looking great? I sure do. She does. All right, good. She's off to school. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Come on, my tender-headed person. She was over there squirming and squirming in that chair. <laughs> she was squirming and squirming in that chair, boy. And she took it like a chap. She's like, whew. It's okay, I've been tender-headed as a child. Yeah, I'm used to that. So Lacey, when you come in and get this relaxer, please do not wait forever because I'm not going to fight with your okay, hair. Okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not fighting with your hair, and I promise you I will cancel your appointment. I'm not doing it. I'll come back soon. Okay. All right, beautiful. You ready? Mm -hmm. I would tell y'all her name, but I'm not. <laughs> We're just going to call her my tender-headed client. <laughs> People need a life. Your work is gorgeous. I love this live. This is raw work. I'm thinking of becoming a stylist. Sounds like a client who couldn't keep up the maintenance of her hair and trying to put blame on you to keep up the good work. I'm going to be honest, you guys. You know, I, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. It is what it is. See you, mama. Have a good Easter, okay? You too. Okay, baby. I'm not everybody's cup of tea and everybody ain't mine. It is, it, just, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I'm about to use this $500 um, comb attachment blow dryer on my client's head right now. Mm. 
Now the reason I chose to switch to the Dyson for Miss C here is because I know she's tender headed and I know that this is gonna go straight through her hair really, really easy. And I don't wanna put her through the stress of a paddle brush. Cause trust me, she was in, in agonizing <laughs> stress right here. She was holding it together. She probably took the Tylenol but she came out of here though. But you know, one thing that I can recommend you guys, if you want to vet a stylist, if you're not sure if a stylist is for you or if their practices are gonna meet your expectations, that's what a consultation is for. Don't come in here and expect things to be your way because I can read your mind like Miss Cleo and I know exactly what it is you're thinking is an expectation in your mind. There's no way. The only thing that I can do is outline my my requirements and also what you can expect from me and best believe you're not going to come in here and be out of here at you come in here at 9 a.m and you're leaving at 9 p.m at night never what time was your appointment we're not even going to tell y'all <laughs> no i'm gonna tell y'all her appointment was at 12 30 right she rolled in here at minutes after one no, it, yes. was, it wasn't, it was like 1245. Girl, you tried it. <laughs> Rolled in here minutes to, I think it was like 1254 or something like that. Okay. With braids still in her hair, y'all. Okay? And she's like, I'm sorry, I got lost. I'm like, it's okay. Because I was busy anyway. So it's not a big deal. Not saying that you can come in here late all the time because I'll turn you around real fast. <laughs> but, no, I was talking to the people. Uh -huh. But, I mean, she's here. Okay, no problem. No problem. So I would highly recommend booking a consultation if you need to see if a stylist meets your impeccable expectations. Or you go to the salons that you're used to and don't try anybody new. But clearly you tried somebody new because those salons that give you all that you had in your expectations of a wrong brush and all of that, clearly it's something you didn't like about them. That's why you didn't go. Crystal did my niece's hair with a dryer like yours and thought it would be better than a round brush. It just depends. Like, it depends. I decided to use this for her because I know that she's tender headed. And I'm not I'm just not gonna subject her to the round to me using the paddle brush. That's just gonna drive her nuts. I've seen a few of your videos and they are all so beautiful. Because when you're done, the styles are shiny, moist, very hydrated. Absolutely, that's my goal. My goal is for you to walk out of here with a healthy head of hair that looks like you got your hair done. That's all I can do. But like I said, you guys, that story time was not to chastise the person who wrote it. Because I'm more than certain that they didn't write it with malicious intent. They were just basically stating how they felt. Which is absolutely understandable. But my response to that would be... Next time, I would do a consultation with whatever stylist you want to go to before you come and sit in their chair and have un... What's the word I'm looking for? Undiscussed expectations. It's not a requirement that I sit here and I talk to you about your hair. That's a consultation. That is a consultation. It's not a requirement for me to sit here with you for the first 30 minutes of your appointment and do a full-on consult. This is why I offer them virtually. My consult is going to be, hey, what are we doing to your hair today? If I agree, I will say, okay, cool. If I don't agree, I'm going to say, okay, blah, blah, blah. Here is why. For my client here, we had to consult about her hair color. And good thing we did because she would have walked out of here with a beautiful copper that she didn't want. <laughs> and that's what her picture looks like. So just because I give you guys all this goodness on YouTube, that doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen in the salon every time you come. No, no, no. There's no purpose of me offering a consultation fee then if I'm not going to be doing that. In my opinion, about 30% of her expectations were unrealistic. The other parts of it, I mean, I wouldn't even call the other parts expectations. It was more like you wanted to dictate how I do my job and how I achieve my results. And that's not how I work. 
What one person does is what one person does. What I do is what I do. Okay, I just put some of our elite, elite, so grateful. Some of our frizz control on her hair. She got a fresh hair color today. So this is a brand new color that she got today. It's your first color? Mm -hmm. This is her first time getting a hair color. And she found me on Instagram. So it was like, yeah, you trust me? Okay. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Oh, this baby did die. Ah, did I catch it? I did. Okay. My phone was going to die, you guys. I just caught it. I went to a stylist that literally, that took literally all day, would spend eight plus hours in the shop. Maybe I would, that would be damn. We'll spend that much time together. I don't, I don't want to see y'all for that long. I do not want you in my chair that long, honey. That's a little nerve wracking. All right, mama, head down for me. Let me see. I used to work in a Dominican salon in Kissimmee. And I'm Puerto Rican, and once clients knew I was Puerto Rican, they didn't want me to do their hair because they assumed that I wasn't a Dominican. I mean, that, that happens too. Hence the reason why I say to people, this is off. you can't go with an expectation that one stylist is going to do the same thing as another. That is not how this works. Just because I make curry chicken one way, that doesn't mean that you're gonna make it the same way and then I get mad because you didn't make it like me. That's stupid. You want it straight? Yes, please. Okay. She had her own personal preference that were not your methods, which is true. And that's fine. But if you don't voice your expectations or anything that you uh, you're asking me to do then that's just you but don't expect it to be a hundred percent oh that's just what chris was going to do every single time i have clients that come in as new clients you guys and the first thing that they want to ask me is so what's my hair porosity well there's no way for me to tell you that we have to do a porosity test okay even if i'm guessing and telling you hey you're low or high that is not a confirmation and I get that a lot. I get people who come in and they want me to be one of my voiceover videos on YouTube while doing their hair. There is no way. If that was the case, that I would be doing everybody's hair live. Sometimes you guys are on here and I'm still not talking. What's the difference between a permanent and a relaxer? I, I'm not sure what, what the question is. How do you make your curry chicken, by the way? <laughs> I can't stand y'all. You guys are petty. So like I said, you guys, that, that, was, that was my review yesterday. And I was just like, I've really changed. Because normally, I would take your head off in, in my response. I'm going to drag you in the response. But you got to grow up. You got to grow up and just know that, listen, Every action does not require a reaction. Love this. Most times you see the end result, but never the process. Love your raw talent. Keep your head up, mama. Watching from the Caribbean, St. Lucia. Hello, St. Lucia. Her hair looks like silk. Thank you. They say your hair looks like silk. <laughs> Thank you.
know that's right. You have changed. <laughs> if you've been watching me from my earlier years, just know that I have changed. I have changed a lot. Is the 50% sale only on the Elite Hair website? Yes. Tomorrow, we're having the 50% sale on the Crystal W site. Everything on Crystal W would be 50% off tomorrow. I think that's the one misconception that we are supposed to be as quick as the reels on Instagram or YouTube. That is exactly one of the misconceptions. Like, no. Like, my clients come in, we talk, we watch TV. Sometimes we don't talk. Sometimes we do. But my goal is to make sure that I get them in and out of here, make sure that their hair is healthy when they leave here, make sure that they feel like they have been touched by a stylist and not something that they did at home, and send them out and send them on their way. I don't want them to go out thinking about me later on, like, you know, I couldn't stand her. No, no. I want them to leave and say, man, I love my hair. That's all I need you to say. Man, I love my hair. You don't have to like me, but you got to love your hair. How's your tenderheadedness? It's good. It's good? Yeah. I need to put that in a consultation form when you guys are filling it out. If you're tenderheaded, don't come. Most of my tenderheaded clients, they just sit quietly. I can tell, though, because they'll be like this. <laughs> I can feel them pulling my brush and my comb like and they're trying to hold it in like a champ <laughs> but we make it through look you can tell she has PTSD I'm from being so pressed girl. you didn't get burned though right no I'm okay just okay. making sure I'm gonna flinch okay. anyways though I've taken her earring out that would be the second time how can I detangle my transitioning hair without having it break off? I mean, honestly, detangling is its not an art. Put a nice hair mask on there, like our moist repair, or even a low porosity hair mask, and then take a wide tooth comb and start from the ends and work your way up and section your hair into like four to six sections and you work section by section and do it. But detangling is detangling. All that, oh, I need, you know, I don't like when people are finger detangling and fine with all of that. Okay, because guess what? Whether you detangle it now or I detangle it later, whatever needs to come out is going to come out. Okay, there is no better way to do it. As long as you're detangling, that is what is required. That's it. Are there products in her hair when you still press? So the only thing she has in her hair is I sprayed her with a leave-in conditioner, which was the low porosity leave-in conditioner. And then I sprayed her with some of our new Shield heat and humidity protectant spray. And then she went under the dryer to air dry. I blow dried her and then I applied some of our frizz control to her hair. Uh, when you have coarse textured hair or dense or very dense hair, you definitely want to add some frizz control. That's going to help with the slip. It's going to help with it laying down. It's going to help to tame a lot of the flyaways, a lot of the, you okay, mama? Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of the flyaways, a lot of the splitting, because that hair texture typically wants to do this. Oh, I just, ha I have to say one more thing. I forgot. So one thing that she did also say in the review, hold on, let me, let me get through this section here. Okay, one thing she also said in the review was about her trim, that she feels like I could have trimmed more. I didn't talk to her about, you know, how much I was gonna trim off or something of that nature. That is so contradicting to me. You either have it one way or you have it the other. One thing that I hear everybody say is, 
Oh my gosh, I went to the stylist and she cut way too much. All I wanted was a trim. What is a trim? Tell me what you think your definition of a trim is. And there's no right or wrong. This is uh, what you think. Cutting off split ends. So, cutting off split ends. So whatever your hair is split ends, that's, that's where you cut it. Okay. Okay. That's dangerous. Don't ever give anybody that responsibility. <laughs> because wherever they're split ends could mean that I can shave your entire head. Oh. Right? So here is, here is the definition of a trim for me. And this is what you're going to use. I don't care who you go to. The definition of a trim is light dusting of the ends, meaning we are cleaning up the ends. That's it. A haircut is where we are literally going in and we are going with a specific length in mind, a specific style in mind, or like what you said, let's say you come in and you say, Crystal, I have a lot of split ends and I want you to cut them all off. Well, of course, I'm not going to shave your head, but I'm going to come and say, okay, this is how much we would need to cut if you want to do that. But if you book a trim, I'm going to give you a trim. And you booked a trim, right? I did. Okay. So if you book a trim, you're not coming in here with the, in the intent of me cutting off four inches of hair, are you? You would expect me to tell you something if I'm going to cut more than a couple centimeters. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I find it very contradicting that a person would say, oh, well, she didn't cover all of the ends and all of the areas of trouble. Well, it sounded like you needed a haircut, but you didn't want to pay for a haircut. Okay, a trim for me is a trim. A haircut for me is a haircut. And they are two totally different prices. Very different. Like extremely different. So it's like, it's one or the other. Do you want the stylist that is going to literally give you a trim because that's what you booked? Or do you want the happy hair, happy handed, scissor happy stylist who's just going to cut whatever. And then when you're done, your complaint is she cut too much of my hair. All I wanted was a trim. Which would you prefer? The first one. The, per the stylist who just gives you the trim or the happy scissor happy? No, no scissor happy. The stylist who gives you exactly that. Light dusting, cleaning up your ends. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm using you as my, 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 <laughs> my muse here, okay? Because you're a real person. You've never met me. No. She's never met me before. She's never sat in my chair. So I'm going to use her because she's going to give you the honest to God. I hope she's going to give y'all the honest to God. <laughs> she's probably sitting here like, let me just be, let me be nice because she got my hair in her hands. No, I want uh -uh, you to give them the close. honest to God truth. I would never do something to your hair, I promise. <laughs> other than make you cute. You want side part or middle part? The side part, please. Which side? The side. So you want to come this way? No, that way. Sorry. Or that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've had many scissor happy stylists when I asked for a trim. All things are done decent and in order. You have been blessed with a gift and you continue in that gift absolutely i just i like to share you know i always share with you guys the ups the downs the good the bad the ugly you know and it just shows that i've, I've grown because <laughs> my response would have not been that actually i'll do a middle part sorry i'm gonna stab you once <laughs> you want middle part? Please. Okay. Tilt back for me. Okay, I got it. All right, so we're going to do a middle part, you guys. How's her hair looking? Is it nice and silky? A trim is going to change the whole game in just a moment. You're going to notice this hair go whoo with her beautiful hair color. Was that your friend? Mm hmm It's my roommate. What did she say about your color? She was so shocked. So, oh, she didn't know you were getting your hair color? She did. I told her I was. Oh, she thought you were joking. Yeah, because I thought I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, come in here. You ain't joking, honey. The moment you say hair color, I'm like, yes, let's go. <laughs> I love coloring hair. Okay, Crystal, I got a challenge for you. I'm allergic to many hair products for black hair. My hair is frizzy and thin. What do I do? Well, it depends. You got to tell me what you're allergic to. What is it that you're allergic to? Are you allergic to nuts? 
Are you allergic to butters? What types of butters? Are you allergic to essential oils? There's so many different allergies that you can have. So that way, I, I would need to know the scope of what you're allergic to to tell you which one of my products don't have that in there. You say your hair color is beautiful. Mm, I love it too. Thank you. Precious. Mm. I'm sure you already said this, but what flat iron are you using? So I'm using two different irons. I'm using both Smooth by EHC, but this is the one inch ceramic. And then I'm also using my XL, which is a two inch ceramic. Her hair looks really healthy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So my goal, of course, is to leave my client with a head of healthy hair, even with a hair color. So she asked when I was first doing her color, she's like, do you have to bleach my hair? Or what? I think you said bleach, right? Yeah. Do I have to bleach her hair to get the color that she wants? And did I, did I explain to you why? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I told her, I said, well, I'm, gonna, I'm doing it a little healthier of a way of doing this, which is a soap cap to pre-lighten her hair rather than just going in with straight developer bleach and really just stripping it down to the depths. I try not to do that very often. I like to use the soap cap method if I can because it's a, a less harsh way. It takes a little bit longer, but it's less harsh on the hair. What is that? That is going to be a nice summer color when the sun hits. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that leads me to remind you. So reds, mm -hmm. coppers, mm -hmm. they fade first. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a fashion color. This is not an actual color that okay. you can lighten the hair and get, mm -hmm. which is why I pre-lighten you and then I put the color on. Okay. So with that being said, just keep in mind that it's going to fade. And when it starts to fade, it fades back to the lightened, the pre-lightened color. So how you keep it vibrant, you can use semi-permanent colors now, mm -hmm. um, jazzing, any one of those companies. Pick the color that you like within that red copper mahogany family. Okay. And that's what you will use as your touch up. Okay. Just semi permanent. So it okay. should not require you to mix two colors together. These are colors that you get at like the Hood Beauty Supply, <laughs> the Jazzing in the Red Bottle. Okay. Or Beautiful Brown or something like that. And then you just put it directly on the hair after you wash it. And that's okay. how you can keep your color nice and vibrant. So anything in the reds, anything in the coppers, it will work. Okay. And you can even put it in your conditioner when you're conditioning just to bring some of the vibrancy back. It's not going to change the color. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep it nice and bright. Okay. Do you have the flat iron for sale right now? No, the flat irons won't be back in until the third week of April during the anniversary sale. So we have tool day during the anniversary sale where all of my tools will be on sale that day. All the flat irons will be on sale that day. Brushes, combs, everything. Huge sale that day. I love the way you educate your pros. And me as well, beautiful queen. Thank you, Gloria. Have you gotten the silk press before? Mm -mm. Is this your first silk press? Mm -hmm. Look at you just trusting me and never met me in your life. <laughs> and all of this is from my Instagram. <laughs> really? I haven't posted on that Instagram. I post like once a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It must have been like an old video you saw. I don't know, I wanted to get my hair dyed. That's why that's why I, I knew I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I was asking around, actually someone I know follows you. Okay. Going to my church. I was asking around and my roommate was actually telling me, well, not my roommate, my old roommate, she was telling me to, she was actually saying that I shouldn't go get it professionally done because she had a bad experience. I was like, I am I'm not ready for the dramatics when I do it myself and I'm crying because I have orange and hair. You got a nice TikTok video too. With the, oh no. <laughs> With the, oh no. Oh no, so no, no, no. Like, I was like, you know what? Let me try to 
to find someone. I came across your page, and you were one of the only things I've seen that, that did dyeing and did it well. Oh, and thank you, you. And then you offered a, a full head of dye for, like, 4C hair. Gotcha. So, I was like, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I sent a couple emails asking about the restock of the oils and butters, but I never got a response. Crystal, where did you email? Customer service email is phone support at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Is that where you emailed? I keep in mind, you've never had a slip press. So first timers, it might not last as long as normal. Okay. Because your hair's not used to it. It's used to being mm -hmm. in a specific way and not like this. Oh, okay. Crystal, send in. You can... I gotta fix that. I'll fix it. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and trim her. Is your client single? Shout out from Ted. <laughs> I don't know. And now this is not the matchmaking channel either. <laughs> Listen, don't don't come over here with that. Girl, you got people trying to holler right now on YouTube. First of all, you're a guy on my YouTube. Why are you over here? That is so funny. Elite matchmaking. That's my next venture. Hello. <laughs> That's my next venture. Elite match elite matchmaking. So I'm giving her a light dusting of the ends. That is a trim. That's new. I've never had someone say I've cut too little. I've heard people say, Crystal, you cut too much hair. <laughs> Not Crystal, you didn't cut enough. That is so new. I'm a breast cancer survivor. My hair is trying to grow back. What products do you suggest for healthy regrowth? Well, it's going to really depend on your porosity and your hair texture. If you have fine textured hair, I'd say to start with the B7. If your hair is coming back kind of coarse and in feel, then I'd say go with the moist repair. All right. Her trim is done. You want to curl on the end? Oh, like you want a bump? Bump straight? Yeah, you want like a bump? Yeah. Okay. All right, chin down for me. I know, right? Something. Most people say my hair was chopped off when they only request the trim. Girls, I get that all the time. I've never had someone say I cut too little. 
I will say I've had people say, Krista, you cut way too much hair. What ingredient in the hair product that gives a silk press? Well, it's not the ingredients in the hair product. A silk press is basically straightening of the hair and it's gonna depend on your technique. It's not an ingredient. Like I see people selling like silk press kits. That kit isn't gonna do anything different from any other kit. It's how you do the press. There's a method to the madness with it. So beautiful so far i love it thank you the color is beautiful sometimes people want to complain because they don't want to pay i mean i don't know if it was money i don't i don't have a clue nor do i care i mean i got paid for my service that's all that matters it's just sometimes some things can be unrealistic i'm not a mind reader i wouldn't know your expectations i just know that i'm making sure you know what i expect and what i'm offering you and if there's something that you need that you didn't find a find or find when you were booking with me, ask me first. That's it. That's all I can do. Is a is silk press the rebranding of hard press that we got on Saturday, Easter Sunday? Yeah, a silk press is just a better name. And not everybody's gonna hot comb it either. That's another part. Not everyone hot combs. Like I have my Marcel's. I don't even have my stove on my station because it's very rare that I'm gonna use it. What are your thoughts on Husful Nana smoothing treatment? I don't use smoothing treatments. Um, my thoughts on smoothing treatments is none of them work in, in the long term because you end up losing more hair than you gain. And if you're gonna get a smoothing treatment, you might as well get a relaxer because that's where you're gonna end up anyway, without even trying. Her hair looks gorgeous, thank you. I'm not even near your face and she already put it. <laughs> you do. I'm natural. Could I relax and color my hair at the same time? Yes. But when you say color, like what? Um, electric tools have come a very long way. Extremely long way. You do great work and you know best that works. On people's hair. Oh, thank you. the struggle <laughs> it's not an easy thing growing up i would get burnt and then, and then they say what you crying for they were telling me beauty's pain listen i used to get burnt too you better stay still i'm gonna stop <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you're burning me
So I just sprayed her with some goddess polish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the crown area and then she is out the door so she can get her Easter weekend started. When I get new girls, do I have to, like, I have to bleach my roots? Uh, yeah, but, you know, some people turn it into an ombre, and they put a different color instead, and then they just kind of go two-tone. But if you want it to come back to the same color again, mm -hmm. then yes, we do your roots. So we do a new root touch-up. Okay. And then we um, refresh the rest. Okay. But when you're ready to book that, just call me, because it's, it's kind of complicated to book it on there, okay. unless you're just booking a... Uh, full color, just a full color again, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about it when you come in. Of okay. what we're gonna do, or you can text me. My number is on your appointment confirmation. Like edge control. Always ask first, not everybody wants it. <laughs> Thank you, Patsy. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Love it so much. Let me much. fix your you have a little fly away here. Don't move, okay?
Thank you guys. You know how to wrap your hair? Uh, answer for you. Okay. Maybe I've wrapped it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you use a stocking cap, stocking caps are a little bit better. Okay. The ends are not cooperating. I'm stopping from reverting. All right, you guys. So while she is under the dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep up. I'm back here tomorrow anyway. Thank you. Really wish you were here in New York. <laughs> Thank you. Both ladies' hair is healthy and looks good. Thank you. So you want it for? Or you no. Want it? no? Oh, I didn't see that. 
see the color? I love it. I Good. All right, you guys, she is all done. about to get up out of here i hope everybody has a good rest of your day thank you guys i need to see my hair care products in the mail today can't wait to try them thank you all right you guys don't forget to go and shop the 50 percent off sale I'll be back at work tomorrow morning, bright and early. So I hope everybody has a good rest of your day. Go to EliteHairCareUSA.com and shop. Okay? Happy Easter. Bye.